Hello and welcome to season two of Fresh Off the Boat. I'm delighted to be uh, regrouping with Vanya Goel, a very dear student I'd worked with while she was at Sriram School in uh, Gurgaon. Now she's a senior in, in a final semester at USC's very coveted uh, Marshall School of Business. Uh, welcome, Vanya. Why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you, sir. Well, it's a pleasure to be talking to you again. It's always great to catch up. And hi, everyone. My name is Vanya Shri Goyal. I mostly go by Vanya. I'm a senior, like sir said, at USC's Marshall School of Business, where I'm currently majoring in business administration and management. And I have a minor in digital entrepreneurship. And yeah, it's my final semester. I'm originally from New Delhi, India. Excited to kind of navigate my journey from here on. Vanya, well, yeah, I remember having a chat with you and on the first edition when we were in the middle of the pandemic in May, June, July uh, in 2020. Lots has changed in your life, I'm sure. Uh, love to know more about how the transition from, uh, you know, the, the first two years at college at Marshall and then moving to upperclassmen years in your uh, junior year. How was it like? And how does it change in a business school like Marshall? Yeah, definitely. I feel like um, a lot a lot has changed, not just uh, personally, in the sense that how I approached Marshall classes when I was a freshman and a sophomore, and I was, you know, more on an exploring route, always trying out like marketing classes, a few finance classes. Um, and I wasn't sure which is the path that I kind of want to head to. So the, the way that it's kind of changed is that now I know what my focus is. I'm kind of more heading towards the, sorry about this. No worries. Sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of more heading towards the finance, the strategy route. And I have that clarity because of the independence, the flexibility that business schools offer to you, especially if it's a business administration degree and not a focused finance major or a marketing major. So I personally have fallen in love with my finance classes at Marshall. The professors are extremely renowned in the finance industry and, you know, they provide amazing expertise and also give you career direction. So I'm loving that considering my father also has a finance company back at home. So it's always been something that I'm interested in learning about. And mostly I would say what's changed is that first two years you're always just, you know, this, um, you're kind of just in that exploring phase while in your junior year and your senior year, I was way more focused in understanding the intricacies of finance and digital entrepreneurship, which is what my minor is, and kind of, you know, getting hands-on experience in those fields while also doing internships, you know, that's kind of what my focus has been. Fantastic. I think let's go deeper into uh, both these areas, which is finance and digital entrepreneurship. Uh, aren't we all now becoming digital natives and uh, also figuring out things? So what is this minor? I'm very curious to know how it's designed and what students should know about it when they apply it to USC. Yeah, sure. So when I was in my sophomore year, everyone around me was picking different minors and being a business student, I was always curious to learn more on the technical side, you know, that what are the more technical skills that I can build considering business is more on the soft skill side. And everyone was choosing minors like applied analytics and data science and computer science. I was always curious about those, but I, I wasn't too sure if I want to do coding. So I thought, you know, let me look at the Derby School of Engineering and see what all minors they're offering. And one was called Innovation and Digital Entrepreneurship. And I was like, okay, wow, that sounds unique, especially because I'd heard of these courses being offered at Stanford and Yale. So I kind of wanted to know what's, you know, inside it. So I started my journey with enrolling in the minor and took a few courses at Viterbi with Marshall combined because as the name is uh, is there, a few classes are at Viterbi School of Engineering and a few classes are at Marshall School of Business on the entrepreneurship side. And you kind of, every class teaches you how you can create a startup with a team and how you launch the startup. So you learn how to 
you know, prototype it, you learn different skills like Figma and how you're kind of supposed to work with investors in your team to come up with an idea and actually implement it and execute it. And most of the professors for these classes are VCs themselves. So they've already worked on their startups and now they're kind of looking forward to help students like us accelerate our careers. So it's been pretty interesting so far and I have about three more classes left this semester. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty interesting uh, minor to be part of. It also probably <laughs> adds up to some of your STEM points uh, when you're looking at uh, graduating with a STEM degree. Um, finance, in numbers, analyses, following the news, um, all of that and much more. So <laughs> what, what was your idea when you started like thinking about finance um, initially and what it actually entails like what kind of classes do you do um, and what expertise do you develop for being career ready in finance definitely i i don't know if you remember but when i used to be brainstorming with you about my essays for college i used to kind of tell you that i'm really interested in business but then i'm intimidated by numbers and you used to tell me that vanya if you're part of the business field you have to you know learn numbers as well so don't be intimidated by it but go and like try it out explore it and college is very different from the school textbook sort of math and finance, like you said, is definitely numbers. And the first class I took was corporate financial strategy. And I was scared, you know, that will I be able to do this? I needed my GPA also. But at the same time, I wanted to learn uh, how is it like to understand financial formulas and the, you know, Wall Street and the markets. And I ended up taking it and I actually really enjoyed it. And it didn't end up becoming as intimidated because the professors are so hands-on. They do the problem sets with you. They make you understand the concept that you don't have to memorize anything. And the math is only a part of it while it's the concepts of finance that kind of involve you hands-on. So I've taken a few very interesting classes like valuations which actually I took last semester and it's by far been my favorite class at Marshall. It's a finance class. It's supposed to be one of those higher electives that kids are very intimidated to take because it's heavy numbers, heavy Excel modeling, but it kind of teaches you exactly how to value a company. And when you're thinking of doing mergers and acquisitions, then how is it like to understand what the value of a company is like? So I found it pretty interesting and like I touched upon in the beginning, my father is a wealth manager himself and, you know, he's heavy into finance. So he's always kind of pushed me to learn finance. And this kind of was a great step. And now I'm trying to look at more finance courses at Marshall to see how I can kind of learn better. Okay, great. Now we're going to move to a other segment, which is uh, helping viewers understand uh, life after college and how students plan for it. Um, what resources are available at Marshall? What have you done personally to sort of build on career readiness uh, skills briefly? And then uh, I'll touch upon this and then, uh, yeah, explain uh, what your future, uh, what, what you hope your future can be when you're a graduate. Definitely, I feel like from the resources side, if I can first touch upon that, uh, the Marshall Career Center and the Marshall uh, Courses Advising Center is extremely helpful because they've had so much experience, different students and students like me who come in confused about what they want to do and then, you know, helping us kind of navigate through courses and how we can use those courses through our internships and full-time as well. They've been very helpful when I set up appointments with them to talk to them about, you know, what are the great, what are the perfect classes for me to take while also maintain my GPA. They help me understand which classes might boost my GPA more, which professors would be great for the kind of career I'm wanting to head to. So those have been great resources. And at the same time, I feel like the ones that have helped me the most are my peers and my friends through organizations. So the organization I'm part of, Marshall Women's Leadership Board, there are so many amazingly talented business students along with me. And they, some of them are upperclassmen, some of them are lowerclassmen. They've all had, you know, they've all been in the same boat as me. So kind of talking to them about my journey and them telling me, you know, these courses are very good. This professor is very good. And um, 
just talking to people i feel like has been the biggest step for me in college it always gives me a different perspective and i highly recommend that and um, yeah i think it was the was there another part question? yeah the future like what 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 do you wish to do next um, after you graduate yeah definitely so um i've mostly been interested on like the strategy side of business which are all these strategy roles that a lot of corporate companies and consulting companies offer while at the same time i really am trying to understand finance and investments more because i do want to uh, help my dad scale his business back at home and also maybe take it globally so i am trying to kind of navigate my career on both the strategy and finance side of things and business development so all my roles that i'm applying for the companies that i'm looking at are on that front even the previous internship i did at a biotech company called amgen was a finance and strategy based internship and that kind of taught me that okay you know it's really interesting to be on the numbers side but also use those numbers to create a strategy for a company so those that's kind of the path that i'm heading towards fantastic one last question and more to do with uh, how uh, life as a college student changes when you know this pandemic sort of shows his ugly face again and again uh, mm-hmm. what is the ust experience been like in the first second and now third wave of uh, covid uh, how is the university adapted and how do students sort of miss out on things or uh, when you know there's some sort of a clamp down on uh, social interactions uh, tell tell me a little bit about how it panned out in the last two years uh, as a student and how did life change on campus for you i have like so many mixed emotions when i think of this question because now that i'm a senior in my final semester i'm really hoping for things to be in person because i want to have those experiences like i want to take in person classes because there are so many fun classes i was saving for my final semester like dance or um, you know sports related classes like volleyball or self defense which are all which are more fun if they're in person you know you don't want to take them sitting behind a laptop screen so i'm definitely like really hoping for usc to go back in person this semester like it was last semester so that i can you know take those classes and form those relationships and make those experiences but from an academic point of view to be very frank online classes have been like a blessing in disguise for me i really find it helpful when i can sort of watch recordings very easily after the class is over so that i can watch it at my own pace because sometimes in class you miss a few points that a professor is saying so by watching recordings at my own pace i can take my notes accordingly prepare accordingly and i think that has really helped me with my concepts and my grades um at the same time when you were asking about relationships i think i have been like i think personally i've been lucky that i've taken classes where i've had so much team work that we keep meeting over zoom to discuss team projects and even i i go for office hours with my professors which are online so I'm, i've been able to form actually better relationships because everyone has a lot more time to give so that front has been great so far and um definitely last semester was a lot of fun though because everything was in person after being online for like one and a half years and i got to see what it's like to suddenly be in class and it's a little bit overwhelming to have so many people around you who to talk to and then constantly like watch no uh, watch lectures but then also be present in class so that balance was a little bit uh, difficult to start off with but i think then you get very used to it so personally i'm very flexible with both online or in person classes but this semester since i'm pretty much done with my major i'm really hoping for a more in person experience thank you anya it's always uh, such a delight following up with what you've been doing a busy body at usc <laughs> <laughs> So yeah and also for our viewers and listeners we want to invite Vanya to our panels and webinars on women leadership and some of the other wonderful things she's been busy with career wise and say the case competitions uh, entrepreneurship sort of shark tank type activities so there'll be a follow up webinar uh, which we'll uh, do soon so thank you and stay tuned thank you Vanya thank you